Stone Garden today and we're going to teach you how to make gopher baskets. So here's Mike, our expert go gopher basket maker, <laughs> and he's going to demonstrate it. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate a basket similar to this, which is round, rectangular. You can make these any length. Um, maybe you can get an example of one of those that you can put in put in a trench. Some really long gopher baskets here and I see the round ones too. These, these can be any length as you can see. You can bury them in a trench and put multiple plants for instance. Great. That's a commercial basket. Mm -hmm. What's the one? These you can buy. And typically these are planted underground, right? Yes. They're buried so in the we're... ground mm -hmm. with about, these ones have green markings to show how deep to bury it. You leave, you leave about this much above ground to keep the gophers from climbing over. These are right now being used as uh, for the squirrels. So this basket has two seams. And those are uh, really what you get when it gets tight so the basket stays in one piece on the ground. And for a round basket, to account for the seams, this is two feet, a two foot roll of chicken wire. I forget the size, do you remember? It was two by a hundred. Two foot by a hundred, but it's a standard chicken oh, wire. Yeah. So you want it a little more than square. So this is probably two feet six inches or, or two feet eight inches, say. You can cut it with anything that cuts wire. This is not the correct tool. <laughs> So I tried to cut where in between, so the uh, ends oh, I see. are still attached, so you don't have a lot of wires sticking out. Right. And you fold it lengthwise. Hot dog style. And then I put it over the edge of the table and fold a little bit of the uh, end of this, this cut ends over each other. And then wearing gloves, heavy gloves, roll that cut end underneath the rest of the, the wire. Mm. And then flatten it with any, you can use a rock, a piece of wood, That's a tight seam. Oh yeah. And it's easier if you just fold this up. Again, one more time, 90 degrees, because that's going to be the flat seam against the side of the basket right mm. here. And you do the same on the other side. Now we're going to open it up and put, and uh, form the bottom of the basket. Spread it out a little bit. Put about this much off the edge of the table and form a crease there. And then bend this over. That looks pretty ugly right now, but you're going to flatten it again with your hammer or your wood block.
One side is done. Can yeah. you do the same on the other side? Done. Very nice. Then you bury this in the ground, leaving a little bit of it above ground. So Perfect. Thanks, Mike.